Raiders. Raiders. I hate their guts. The Raiders. That big. I've always hated the Raiders. I like the barbecue. Oh yeah. So what are you gonna do about it? Don't just hate the Raiders. Do something about it. Tickets are still available. I catch me a Raider. I'm gonna hang him from that flat city water tower. If your car needs a tune-up, there are lots of choices open to you. But how many use trained certified technicians? How many do over a million tune-ups a year for a low price? And who fully guarantees every tune-up for 12 months or 12,000 miles? Only one is America's number one tune-up specialist, Precision Two. Bad news for the Royals today. They lost the game 8-2 to two to the Minnesota Twins. That's it for us. We'll see you at 10. Hope you'll join us. We're at halftime at Mile High Stadium in Denver, where the Denver Broncos took advantage of two Kansas City Chiefs turnovers early in the ballgame to jump out to a 17-10 advantage. But the Chiefs have played well late in the first half and turned it into a ball game. The rain has subsided for the moment and will return to Mile High Stadium in Denver after these messages from your local station. TV movie becomes an action-packed adventure series. It's the realistic side to lifeguards. Now, your summer doesn't have to end. The fun continues with a sensational new show. Baywatch! Well, I think you really enjoy it. Baywatch premieres in two weeks. Mom was pretty shook. What, the brakes started screaming? Like heavy metal. No way. No big deal. That dramatic here told us. No way. You should have been there. This master care expert. We're talking pro. Fixing the brakes with a lifetime warranty. Well, is the noise still there? No way. No chance. No big deal. Finally, getting your brakes fixed is no big deal. Master care car service by Firestone. Your hey, mom thought they just sold tires. <laughs> Hard copy. Premieres September 18th on TV4. All right, the scene in Denver, as I mentioned a moment ago, the sun is back out, at least momentarily, which could mean it would snow in the next five minutes. It could snow any moment, Fred. Did you bring your boots? I do not have my boots. Well, I brought my boots I and wore my, my earmuffs. I wore my hip boots knowing I'd be working with you, but Lyle. <laughs> I love you too, Fred. Let's mm. take a look now at some of the first half highlights, and the biggest play of this ball game had to be that first half interception. First time the Chiefs had the ball, the Berg went back to pass. Tyrone Braxton of the Denver Broncos stepped in front of Emil Harry and carried the ball back. 34 yards, and Denver was on the board. It was a tremendous read and a nice play. All right, now nice the, ne touchdown. the next time the Chiefs have the ball, they have a problem on the exchange. DeBerg and Hurd lose control. The Broncos fall on the ball, and that leads to this. Sammy Winder taking the pitch from John Elway, then turning it upfield, and just that quick, Denver has 14 points. Nick Lowry got the Chiefs on the board with a field goal, and then Kansas City moved down in the ball game later and scored once again. So the situation in... On a fourth and goal, it was Kenny Gamble, who was stopped, stopped again, but finally, three times was a charm, as Gamble went up and over on a fourth and goal, Marty Schottenheimer showing the confidence in that offensive line that has been rebuilt and saying, all right, you missed it the first couple of times, take it and bang it one more time, and that does more to help a club, Lyle, than almost anything you can it do It certainly does, Fred. In a situation like that, when they've been backed up like that, uh, had two bad plays, they had to make this play. Marty could have said, okay, let's kick the field goal. I don't have faith in my team. I'm going to go that way. Instead, he said, okay, let's drive it down their throats. They did that. They got the touchdown, and Kansas City seems to be on a roll. All right, now, let's, let's take a look now at this play here, and, and who is this man? Oh, let's see, is that Lenny Dawson back to pass? This is an old, old, old defensive end. But you, know, you see, he's got those dance moves. Look at him. Please, spare he, me. He's not very spare fast. Me. He's waltz, not very waltz, <laughs> waltz moves. Dance moves. A waltz and a slow one at best. Lyle Please. Alzado. He hugs the referee. <laughs> my, my little male bonding by that man immediately following the play. Eh? Now, Lyle, you played here for so many years. How has football evolved in this area to where it's become today? Well, I think one of the most important factors of the Denver Bronco franchise is the fact that they had Floyd Little here. You know, years ago when this franchise first begun in 1963, I mm -hmm. believe, Floyd Little was the player that they, that they had that people came to watch. 
They wouldn't come otherwise. But Floyd Little created this franchise. What surprises me is he has not been voted into the Hall of Fame yet. Well, it's been tough for all the Broncos to get Absolutely. a Hall of Fame Absolutely. There's vote. Rich Jackson, there's Paul Smith, there's Billy Thompson. Randy Gratishar. Randy Gratishar, great player. Lyle Alzado, better he's not in the Hall of Fame. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they'll let me in, Fred. I think you're right. Let's check now scores from around the league and get you caught up on what took place around this Sunday, number one. You can see that Chicago beat Cincinnati, came from behind to beat the Bengals 17-14. San Francisco holding off Indianapolis, 30 to 24. New Orleans, welcome to the NFL, Jimmy Johnson. Knocked off the Cowboys. Rams jumped out to a big lead over Atlanta and then held on. Tampa Bay came from behind to knock off Green Bay. And of course, uh, Phoenix uh, is uh, jumped out on top of Detroit. Uh, uh, Houston and Minnesota. Minnesota jumped out on Houston, 24 to 7. Seattle is uh, behind Philadelphia, 17-7. Of course, Randall Cunningham must be having a great day. New England, 21 nothing over the New York Jets. Of course, San Diego and the Raiders. The Raiders, 21 to 7 over San Diego. Cleveland, 30 nothing over Pittsburgh. Carson must be having an enjoyable day there. And of course, Miami <laughs> is on top of Buffalo, 10 to 3 at the half. That has to be considered a bit of a surprise. And now, this takes care of whether it rains or you have a headache. You have an ice pack on your head and a slicker to cover the ice pack. A sea of orange, a veritable sea of orange here. Fans were a little bit upset after this club won 8-8 eight eight last season. Dan Reeves took a lot of heat, although he, have been, he has been rewarded with a new contract. Well, Fred, that surprises me because the Denver franchise has, is the winningest AFC team over the past, since 1977, until now. Let me point something out here on the first half statistics, Lyle, and tell me before this ball game if you thought this was going to be the case, where the Kansas City Chiefs would have more passing yards than the Denver Broncos. That is a surprising statistic. You would think with John Elway, the three amigos, and the type of high-powered offense they would have, that it would be the other way around. But, of course, Kansas City started moving the ball at the end of the half there. If you eliminate those two turnovers the Chiefs made the first two times they had the ball, they're leading this ball game. Great possibility. Kansas City came out in this game, I think, a little bit confused, a little leery of the things they were going to attempt to do against Denver. Once they settled down, they got back in the flow of the game. Their system seems to start, to start working. And I think they're in it now. That This is a good game. This is a football game that uh, will be decided maybe at the end of the game. Just M like most are. <laughs> Mo most are. Most games, let's, let's shut that down. Most games decided at the end of the game. No, that's not quite true. This could be 45 nothing, Frederick. But it wouldn't be over to the final gun sound. Nah, not really. We could go home now. Well, we could or they could play <laughs> faster. <laughs> so the Chiefs who score at the end of the first half get the ball to start the second half. It's Danny Copeland from the goal line. Slicing his way forward to the 27 before he stopped by the rookie out of Arkansas, Steve Atwater. Check the comparison out between the quarterbacks, Lyle. DeBerg, 11 of 16 for 228 yards, one interception. Elway, this is a surprise. 6 for 13 to 56 yards. Where are the three amigos? You know, yesterday at practice... John looked a little upset. I don't know what it was about, but he didn't look very secure with what he was doing. And, of course, the departure of Mike Shanahan, the Raiders head coach, could be confusing to John. Especially last year because he's still trying to reacclimate himself to a new offensive coaching staff. First and 10 for the 27. Herman Hurd turns it upfield. Over the 35-yard line before Steve Atwater brought him down. We've said it many times, if he's healthy, he's a player. Herman Hurd uh, is, is, is a very good player, and a key player for Kansas City. He makes a nice cut here, nice hand up by DeBerg, obviously. He makes a nice cut upfield, and he's a strong back. Look at this. Nice. As I said before, Kansas City seems to be in the flow of their running game now. They've established that. And maybe that will open up DeBerg's passing game. Slips down and loses yardage. That's right around the infield where the Denver Zephyrs play baseball. Right, Fred. Uh, the Denver Zephyrs baseball team here, AAA baseball team, that play baseball. And, of course, this is soft sod on that type of field, on that part of the field. And uh, that created a situation where uh, Hurts... Uh, I think that sod was put in a week ago Friday, and they told us that it's in pretty good shape, and they have a fine drainage system underneath the stadium here. Nonetheless, it's still going to be slick. Well, you, you can see... Uh, that the field is a little bit torn up where it's soft. There's the diamond. And they're just about uh, the outline near second base. 
on the field now. Seven wide receivers in the game. Check that defensive backs. Ooh, nearly picked off by Tyrone Braxton, who would have had a second interception. You know, Fred, surprisingly, Kansas City's offensive line has given DeBerg plenty of time to throw the ball. Where is Fletcher? How come they're not sending him? That's a surprise. Well, he threw it a triple coverage. Now, here comes Fletcher. Now, he should be get, get rid of this tackle and put pressure on Elway. On DeBerg. Good kick by Goodburn. It's Ken Bell. Runs into his own man and finally comes down at the 20-yard line. Darren Carrington down on the stop for the Broncos. A 54-yard kick and a 9-yard return. Carrington actually tackling his own man. Well, that's important to be capable of doing. <laughs> but it's preferable to tackle the guy on the other team. Point and note, Fred. Thank you. Well, there's the stat. Elway thrown five touchdowns and 21 interceptions against the Kansas City Chiefs. Well, Kansas City's defensive backfield, led by Deion Cherry, is, is, is quite talented. They're one of the best in the NFL. Dino Hackett is not playing here in the second half with a sprained right ankle. McGovern is in for the Chiefs. And Bobby Humphrey is dropped behind the line of scrimmage by Albert Lewis. Albert Lewis and Deron Cherry have a unique relationship. Albert Lewis is dating at this time Deron Cherry's wife's sister. If you saw those two girls, you'd want to date one of them also, Fred. I understand that. Gorgeous the isn't the word. Mm -hmm. And we talked about it last night, and I said, now, do you ever have any family fights? Do you ever battle each other? And they said, you don't fight with women that good looking. That's right. You say, yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. <laughs> Here's McGovern who's filling in for Dino Hackett. So that's a nice play by him, except that he got to keep his feet. Second and 14, Elway over the middle. He's got the tight end, Pat Kelly, and Kelly back to the original line of scrimmage before McGovern is in on the hit. McGovern is 6'2", 223 pounds. Interesting story, a 10th round draft pick this year out of Holy Cross. He was... Holy Cross? Holy Cross. You know, he won a very prestigious award in New England, the New, New England Gold Helmet Award. Players like Doug Flutie and Gordy Lockbaum have captured that award, and he was very highly thought of, one of only four Holy Cross guys that came to camp to survive and make the Chiefs. Okay, this looks like the three amigos. Four wide receivers in the game for Elway. With time, and the ball is picked off. It's intercepted. Good play. It's Albert Lewis stepping in front of Ricky Natiel. Picked off again. Fred, as I mentioned before, the departure of Shanahan could create a lot of confusion for John Elway. And I think John is having a problem with this. Well, as the Chiefs regroup and try to put more points on the board, we'll step aside. Kansas City will have the ball when we return to Mile High Stadium in Denver. Now, during the official Ford clearance, get low 2.9% financing or $1,000 cash bonus on Ford Escort and Ford Tempo. Plus, get 2.9% financing or a $1,500 cash bonus on Thunderbird. Combine the cash bonus with option package discounts and save over $1,700 on Escort, $2,000 on Tempo, and get over $2,400 in total value on Thunderbird. Just some of the great values at your Ford dealer now, during the official Ford clearance. How do you keep a major city running smoothly? Atlanta does it with Quaker State Motor Oil. In every fire truck, every police car, every Atlanta city-owned vehicle. The big Q stands for quality. Count on the team from MetLife to keep in step with customer needs. Get Met. It pays.
NBC Sports coverage of the National Football League is brought to you by Ford and your Ford dealer. Have you driven a Ford lately? By Levi's 505 and 506 jeans. And by Armor All Protected, because we're crazy about cars, too. After the turnover, Chiefs first and 10 from the Denver 37. DeBerg, he's got Harry once again, that same pattern that has burned the Broncos all afternoon long, and Emil Harry for the first down. Let's take a look at that interception, a great play by Albert Lewis. Albert Lewis is uh, sitting back off of his receiver, once again playing the ball perfectly. Very nice interception. Look at his feet, Lyle. And he's in bounds, but they say he was pushed out. Now, from this angle, let's look how close his feet are to that line. And they're ruling that he had one down, but he was pushed out there. They said he would have had the other one in, and that's why they gave him the interception. Right. It's a nice play. Kansas City's driving again. From the 15-yard line, Markers. Markers on the play, and it's going to be blown dead. Number 72 on the offense, still first down. David Lutz moved. Second time. I game. wouldn't tell him he moved. No. But somebody he had to do it. On the left now. There he is right there. Just moved well, a little obviously bit. Obviously this, he's um, not very settled and he needs to sit still in there. Well, he's also so playing because Gene Chilton is hurt. That's true, but still, if he gets an opportunity to play, he needs to do the job he's supposed to do and not make mistakes like that. Chiefs moving from their own 20. Christian Akoya with room up the middle. Akoya to the 10-yard line and inside the 10 before he's dropped by Steve Atwater and Michael Brooks. Another look at the hard-hitting Christian Akoya. It seems as though Denver's defense is overplaying. And, of course, you see the linebacker going around the block. He can't do that. He didn't shut off the gap. He's got to go across the face of the tackle so he shuts off the inside gap. That's why Akoya got the, got the running room. Give him a pickup of 11. Second and four. Akoya. Near the five-yard line. When they picked Christian Okoya, many people said, who, from where, Azusa Pacific. We had a chance to see him play in Southern California in college, and you knew he was going to be a good one. But a lot of the players from younger schools are overlooked. But if you notice what they're doing, they're running behind Mike Webster. Mike is clearing out the middle, and they're able to run through those inside gaps. That's where the holes are coming from, upside in the middle with Mike. Dan Reeves has just sent in three more defensive linemen. Saxon, first down, Kansas City inside the five-yard line. He ran over Scott Curtis, who then made the hit. If you watch Mike Webster on this play, you'll see he's drive-blocking people, opening up a hole so that the running back can get through. They're not at this position, not at this situation, but normally in the last two drives, Mike has cleared his man out so they can have an inside gap the ball carry can get some running room. 16 years he's been in the NFL. Nine Pro Bowls, Fred. Quite a player. He just solidified that Kansas City offensive line. From the four-yard line, play action. The Bulls got a man. He got the ball. Oh. He wants a place to hide, but there's no place big enough to hold him. James it? Saxon had six points and dropped the ball. It was a tight game, Fred. You can't make mental mistakes like that. You just have to come through and, and do a job when you're asked to do it. Mm. Good fake. Nice fake up in the middle. Nice throw by DeBerg. This is an interesting situation that Kansas City uses. The fake and let the defensive pursue one way and go back the other way. This time it's Gamble up the middle, short of the goal line. 
You hear so much about Steve DeBerg as a player. One thing everybody will tell you, he is a student of the game. He has watched more game film than any of the coaches on the Kansas City staff, and he really is meticulous in his execution. You like know, Fred, and having, and absolutely, and having Marty as, as, a, as a bright a coach as he is, and innovative, James Saxon wasn't feeling very good at this point. But there's and his right side. there mm -hmm. is exactly what he needed. Take the city of score on this play. Gamble. Quick defensive play. Michael Brooks chopping Kenny Gamble down and saving a touchdown. Nice read. Looks like he backs up a little bit here. Berg throws the out, out pattern to the back. Nice play. I it's very it. difficult to make a tackle one-on-one -on -one like that in the open field. Usually the back has the advantage. And there's Marty talking to his player. He's probably saying, good job, kid. Nick Lowry. That's the model. 23-yard <laughs> field goal attempt. And slowly but surely, the Chiefs have inched their way back into this ball game. 6.43 to play in the third quarter. It's now a 17-13 game. Have you driven a Ford? Now, during the official Ford clearance, get low 2.9% financing or up to a $1,000 cash bonus on Ford Ranger. Get 2.9 financing or $1,250 on Bronco 2. Plus, get up to $750 on select F-Series pickups. Combine the cash with option package discounts and save over $2,200 on Ranger, over $3,400 on Bronco 2, and over $3,200 on big pickups. See your dealer for details on all the great values during the official Ford clearance. There's no place on earth that I'd really be. And out in the open where it's all plain to see. If it's gonna get done, it's up to you and to me. There's no place that I'd rather be. Head for the mountains of Bush. Head for the mountains of Bush. Fear. Introducing the Adidas Torsion Basketball Shoe. Moves the way your foot moves. Created with one thing in mind, winning. If you really want it, you can. Adidas Torsion. Next Sunday, the NFL is on NBC. One of football's great rivalries is renewed when the Los Angeles Raiders battle the Kansas City Chiefs. And it's payback time for Eric Dickerson when he leads the Colts against his former team, the L.A. Rams. Plus regional action. NBC football. It's a whole new ball game. Now here's an interesting situation. Anytime a back receives the ball, this little dance step that he does is dangerous. He could have gone in for the touchdown. If he didn't make that dance, if the forward progress would have maintained that way, he might have gone for the touchdown. Instead, he got knocked down for a loss. And the Chiefs pick up three on the field goal. Here's Ken Bell in the six-yard line. Kenny Bell, good special teams player, over the 25 before he's dropped by Chris Dressel, the reserve tight end, number 82. Next Sunday, join us at NBC Football. Some of you will see the Raiders at Kansas City. Others will see Pittsburgh and Cincinnati. And it all kicks off with NFL Live. Still others of you will have a chance to see Warren Moon and the Oilers against Jim McMahon and the San Diego Chargers. And again, it kicks off with Bob Costas, O.J. Simpson, and the gang, NFL Live. Elway will start from his own 28, first and 10. Over the middle, and we have to give the umpire credit for that play because he did as much to disrupt the pattern as the Kansas City defensive backs. The ball was also thrown low. Pat Kelly, the man that made the reception to tight end. Let's check the 10-minute ticker now. Minnesota well ahead of Houston at Wallop the half. Houston. Philadelphia handling Seattle easily. Of course, New England's on top of the Jets, 21 to 7, third quarter. Buffalo and Miami are now tied at 10. Cleveland and Pittsburgh, Cleveland 30, 
30 nothing over Pittsburgh. I don't know if Pittsburgh wants to go to that concede rule. You're allowed to concede at a certain point if you're down by 30 after three quarters. Elway on second and five. Rolls out, buys time, throws back to the gentleman. It's Vance Johnson, and Johnson has a first down at the Kansas City 45-yard line. Rob McGovern defensively for the Chiefs. He simply rolled out to avoid the rush and then found the open man. John is very, is very, John is capable of doing things like this, rolling out of the pocket, throwing across the field. Not many quarterbacks have the strength in the arm to be able to do that. And of course, uh, it's one of John's strengths. 21-yard pickup. The Broncos are now moving from the 46, first and 10. Fake to Winder, same play, rolling out to the left and rolling out of bounds wisely because Mike Bell had his sights set on him. It doesn't look like John Elway feels very confident throwing the ball downfield. Now it looks like he's throwing to his backside of the backfield, short patterns. He might, Kansas City's defensive backs might be, um, might have John Leary of them. During the offseason, John and his wife gave birth to their third child, a boy, John Elway the third but they will name him, call him Jack, I should say, in honor of his dad, Jack Elway. It's nice. A proud father. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Sammy Winder. Up the middle. Not much. Looked like big Neil Smith stuck his hand out and grabbed him by the foot. Neil Smith, top pick out of Nebraska last season. 6'4", 271. Last year, he recorded two sacks. Last week in the preseason, he, reco he recorded two sacks. And they're saying he is finally grasping the system and finally becoming the kind of player that they can count on. Fred, sometimes it takes a couple of years for a player to develop into a system. This guy has got a lot of talent. And obviously, he's doing the job they expect of him. Four wide receivers in the game. And moving on the Kansas City line. No flag, though. And Elway over the middle of Mike Jackson, and he is drilled by Kevin Ross at the first down for Denver. Well, that was a Griffin. beautifully run pattern, Fred. Leonard Griffin was pressuring Elway on the play. He paid the price for that reception. He certainly did. It's a shotgun formation. John drops back. See, Jackson makes a nice reception. You know, the three amigos were involved in the Sickle, sickle Cell uh, Association. And each time one of them scores a touchdown, money will be donated. A very worthy cause. Here's Jeff Alexander. You heard the pop with the pads of number 50, Rob McGovern. The flow of the game seems to have changed, Fred. Is, a fight. A is that Alzado? No. <laughs> That's not him. No. <laughs> I, I don't think you'd call it a fight. Just a, mi a minor disagreement. A push. K involved down there. A push. A nice push. Kevin Ross. Still no update on the condition of Dino Hackett. And I know the folks in Kansas City are concerned. When you've got a Pro Bowl player, you don't want him to be out for one second. And he has not come out of the locker room door knowledge yet. Sammy Winder, Winder breaks a tackle, turns it upfield. And he's out at the 11-yard line. Lewis finally pushed him out of bounds. You notice once again, Fred, John is going to his short passes. And obviously he's having some success with it. Well, I have to question this, Lyle. Knowing that Dino Hackett is not in the game, you throw the ball out to Sammy Winder, and that would be a linebacker's responsibility, wouldn't it? Absolutely. You know, you shouldn't push it back when he's got the ball. You've got to hit him. You got to get him anyway. This is a two-hand touch, is it? <laughs> I don't think so. Flag football? I don't think so. They're first and ten from the 11-yard line now. <laughs> Jeff Alexander trying to pick up a block, and Walker Lee Ashley, the Plan B free agent, signed out of Minnesota, making the hit. 
Ashley's always been a good football player, Lyle. It's just he didn't have much of an opportunity to play because in Minnesota he was stuck behind Scott Studwell, and once he had the chance to sign with another club, he took it. Let's pause briefly now for station identification. This is the NBC Television Network. You're watching WDAF-TV4, Fred Kansas Rogen City. and Lyle Alzado at Mile High Stadium in Denver. Two minutes and ten seconds to play in the third quarter. And, folks, we've got ourselves a ball game. It's the Broncos leaving the Chiefs 17-13, but Denver threatening second and ten from the 11-yard line. Fake to both backs. Jeff Alexander. And the Chiefs doing a good job of forcing Alexander out of bounds. And once again, Fred, misdirection in the backfield to confuse and hold the linebackers hold, uh, for Kansas City. Of course, he was successful throwing the ball out the back. Kevin Ross, they call him the Rock, and he was the Rock of the corner there, knocking him out of bounds. He does. He has very large, muscular arms. <laughs> nice play. Of course, John uh, did a nice job of reading, holding the linebackers there and completing the ball. Third and eight. They're working from the nine-yard line. The Broncos have used a good portion of the clock trying to catch it in. They've got four wide receivers in the game. Sewell, the lone setback. A lot of time for Elway. Touchdown! Here's a... John Elway, this is what you call a rocket arm. Look at this pass. Threaded it between three, three defenders. Tremendous pass. Tremendous catch. Yeah. And there's John. Got himself a nice, nice touchdown. Good job on the snap. Gary Kubiak getting it down. And the Broncos now lead 24 to 13. Objects that become classics of contemporary design not only perform their functions well, they excite the senses, even stir the emotions. A recent example is a piece that's been added to the collections of over a million Americans. Ford Taurus, design that has captured the imagination as well as the road. See your dealer now for low financing or special savings during the official Ford clearance. What's the difference? It takes too long to learn to use a computer. Wrong. Deskmate makes the difference with graphics that guide you. Learning new software is like starting over. Not now. Deskmate uses the same plain English commands with different programs like Lotus Spreadsheet for Deskmate. A computer? I wouldn't know what to do. Now you will. Deskmate makes the difference. Deskmate is simple. It's PC compatible. Deskmate is even easier on Tandy computers. The friendly face in the PC crowd at Radio Shack and participating dealers. Individuals performing together, listening, arranging, building. At Northwest, our performance is helping you do business, getting you wherever you need to go on time, creating new ways to make things work for you, because our job is helping you do yours. Excitement. Time for adventure. Time for romance. It's time to take a trip through time. It's time for the television event everyone's talking about. Quantum Leap. See how it all began. Quantum Leap, the movie, Wednesday after Night Court. Ten plays, 72 yards. They chewed up four minutes and 54 seconds. The payoff, Elway to Sewell. A nine-yard touchdown toss. You talk about the rocket arm that Elway has. You give a guy with an arm like John Elway has that much time, he's going to connect. That ball went about 142 miles an hour. David Treadwell, whatever he's doing, it's working this week, into the end zone. And there's an altercation at the 20-yard line. Jonathan Hayes is in there. Lewis Cooper is in there. Alfonso Carriker. And the pile for the Broncos, as was Michael Brooks. At least we know they're getting a little angry. This 
isn't an ad for a car company. This is an ad for Zenith's 35-inch digital television with premium stereo and the incredible experience of Dolby surround sound. When you have a Zenith television like this, you want to hurry home. Zenith. Quality. Up here, you catch them with experience. And when you've got them where you want them, you head for the beer that goes down smooth as a mountain stream. Push. How are those horses doing? What horses? <laughs> Head for the mountains of Bush here. There are a number of ways to get a safer ride. Like always fasten your feet belt. Feet belt? And never ride on worn shocks and struts. They can allow your tires to lose contact with the road, resulting in a loss of control and braking. Get a new set of Monroe Gasmatic shocks and struts. They help your vehicle hold the road. Hey, I feel safer already. So do I. For a smoother, safer ride, America rides Monroe. Long after the game is over, NBC Sports is still on the line. Dial 1-900-226-8000 for NBC Scores Plus. Scores plus a whole lot more. A minute and 40 to play in the third quarter in Denver. Things have been sorted out on the field, and the Chiefs are going to be starting first and 10 from their 20. All right, Lyle, you're Marty Schottenheimer now. What do you do? Do you put the ball up and try to get it right back or stick with the game plan and just patiently move down the field? Marty's philosophy is this. Establish the ground game, control the ball that way, and then go to the pass, and that's what I believe they'll do. Carson to the top of the screen, Emil Harry to the bottom. Green pass to Herman Hurd. Hurd had blockers in front of him, but Steve Atwater got in there and dropped him. Check the 10-minute ticker. See what else is going on around the league. Minnesota over Houston, 24-7 in the third. Well, the Philadelphia Jets over Seattle, 24-7. Jets are trying to get back into it. Still trail 21-10. San Diego making a game of it at the Coliseum in Los Angeles. Cleveland. 44 to nothing, and this has to be a surprise. Buffalo and Miami still tied at 10 to the third. Second and four. Herman Hurd. Michael Brooks has counted. He had help from Brett Cragen on the play. Michael Brooks is an interesting story. He tore up his knee his senior year at LSU. Otherwise, he really would have been a first-round pick. Instead, because of the injury and the rehabilitation, they took him in the third round, and he has turned out to be an outstanding player selected in the third round of 1987. He's the man that replaced Jim Ryan at that position. And a bigger player, once again, a more physical player, just what the Broncos needed. That's time remaining in the third quarter. It's a good game, Fred. Four wide receivers for the Berg. Rob Thomas, the rookie out of Oregon State. Lost the football, fumble. The question is, did the whistle blow? Or does Dennis Smith have a recovery? You can tell by the crowd, the Broncos have it. That's right, his knees weren't on the ground. That's right, it's, it's a fumble recovery. Dennis Great hit, nice recovery. He stripped the ball from him, basically, just Absolutely. took it away. Dennis Smith's a fine player. Dennis Smith, 6'3", 200 pounds. Rob Thomas, the receiver, 5'11", 171 pounds. You can see the difference when, in the physical when size. Dennis Smith's, when Dennis Smith hits you, you know it. He'll whack you good. Broncos on their 30, a chance to cash in. Humphrey. Diving forward. And that will end the third quarter of play. For the Broncos trying to capitalize on another chief turnover, have the lead. Dear Dad, I know you didn't want me to put off college for the Army. 
But, Dad, I'm learning things here that are really going to help me succeed, no matter what I do. Qualify for the GI Bill and the Army College Fund and earn $17,000 for college for only a two-year enlistment or $25,200 for a four-year enlistment. Dad, now I'll get the most out of college and the best for myself. Be all that you can be. Get an edge on life in the Army. If you don't like the looks of your car, shoot it with Son of a Gun from STP. Shoot the dash, seats, tires, and roof. Son of a Gun protected. Man, what a difference. The Allstate Anti-Lock Brake Discount is a great opportunity to save money. Provided your car has anti-lock brakes, the Anti-Lock Brake Discount, don't pass it up. U.S. gold medalist Roger Kingdom, world record holder in the high hurdles, Cuba's Javier Sotomayor, the first man ever to clear the eight-foot barrier in the high jump. Next Saturday, they defend their world records in a clash of continental champions. The World Cup Track and Field Championships on NBC Sports. Twice in the first half of play, Kansas City committed turnovers and Denver took advantage. Here we are now, late in the ball game, a Kansas City turnover, and the Broncos attempted to take advantage again. What has to happen now, Kansas City has to come up with a big defensive play. An impact player has to come up with something to stop Denver's momentum. Denver has momentum. Kansas City has to stop it. And that's the situation we're in right now. Well, the Broncos are in a pretty good position on the field. They're on the 22-yard line. And they've got a second and two. You feel for Rob Thomas, the young rookie receiver out of Oregon State. He's not real big. As a matter of fact, they call him popcorn because he pops off the ground so much when he's hit. But in that situation, it's just pure and simple, Lyle, when somebody's much bigger and much stronger than you. Right, but the Denver players are taught to strip the ball from people. And that's a technique that's, that's taught by the coaches. Bobby Humphrey, the lone setback behind L.A. Humphrey, back to the line of scrimmage. Derek Thomas on the stop. John Cherry is a guy that'll make you pay if you carry the ball or, or throw the ball in his area. This guy's been in the Pro Bowl. He's one of the best players in the league. Isn't that something? <laughs> now, that, that, that's the kind of player I like. If he step on him, crush him, tear his face off, and then help him up. Good job, kid. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way this game is. That's the way played. to do it. <laughs> Sewell in motion. Oh, movement on the line. Winder, first down. Sammy Winder, very interesting story. He drives a semi truck to work in Mississippi. He's probably trying to save gas. He'll plow you over. Here he is now. <laughs> now, this is nice play here. See, what they're doing is they're, they're pushing Kansas City's defensive line down the line of scrimmage. And there's Bill Carroll. Bill Carroll and I played linebacker. He, he played linebacker in Cleveland when I was a defensive end. Fine coach. Defense the Hickamore player, too. Defensive coordinator now. Here's Humphrey. Over the left side, Bobby Humphrey. Stopped by Rob McGovern. Talking about Sammy Winder, 23. He owns a construction company in Mississippi, and he enjoys collecting cars. One day, he says, I think I'll buy a semi and drive that to work. So he's driving down the road in a semi. One time, he brought a tractor, and he drove that to work. <laughs> Got a lot of time on his hands during the off-season, obviously. <laughs> what do you drive to work, Fred? <laughs> I walk. <laughs> Second and six, both wideouts to our side of the field. With time off the hands of Pat Kelly. Looks like John threw that ball a little hard, huh, Fred? And that's a problem at times with that way. He throws the ball so hard they can't hold on to it. Minnesota over Houston, 24 to 7. Philadelphia all over Seattle, 24 to 7. Of course, New England's on top of the Jets, 21-17. Uh, 
Miami on top of Buffalo, 17-10. That's no mistake either. That is the correct score, and that's a surprise. It certainly is. The Bills aren't doing anything to help themselves in that contest. They've turned the ball over a number of times. This is a big play for us here. Four wide receivers in the game for Denver. Out to Wonder. Bill Moss stops him short of the first down. Trailing the play, Moss drops him. No that's, Moss. That's why... <laughs> A la Duran. That's why Moss is a Pro Bowl player. Did you see the pursuit from the middle of the field all the way across to catch that ball and the, re and the receiver? That's what makes him a great player. Here it is right here. Moss reads it very well. John throws the ball out to Winder. Moss catches him on the, on the cutback. And that's why he's such a great player. There's Moss from the other side pursuing the play from the back end. Winder makes the cut. And Moss makes the hit. Very nice. Treadwell attempting a 30-yard field goal out of the hold of Kubiak. I David Treadwell extending the Denver lead. We'll be right back after these messages from your local station. When taking care of a difficult child, remember... He may simply be expressing the need to be held. Sister Kate, Saturday after the Golden Girls. I know I shouldn't, but I hate those Raiders. Raiders? I hate their guts. The Raiders? That speak. I've always hated the Raiders. I like the barbecue. Oh, yeah. So what are you going to do about it? Don't just hate the Raiders, do something about it. Tickets are still available. I catch me a Raider, I'm gonna hang him from that flat city water tower. Shawnee Mission Ford is Kansas City's closeout headquarters. We've got the best selection of new Fords in the area, and our pricing is based on volume. The more we sell, the lower the prices. On top of factory rebates up to $1,500. Brand new Taurus, lowest $99.89. And that's just an example of the savings on Escorts, Tempos, Mustangs, T-Birds, hundreds of cars to choose from, and thousands of dollars of savings at Shawnee Mission Ford, where... At Shawnee Mission Ford. I remember going on long fishing trips with my granddad. He'd bring cornmeal and cook what we caught his own special way. He'd say, first the batter, then the meal. It wasn't until I tasted Captain D's down-home country platter with its cornmeal breaded fish and all those country vegetables that I remembered. First the batter, then the meal. Granddad never could keep secret. Kelly Minton, weekends on Action 4 News. A tale of two coaches, both trying to rebuild floods in a different way. Dan Ray's rebuilding his defense, and Marty Schottenheimer starting from scratch. Marty Schottenheimer is a very innovative coach, and if they're in trouble, he's going to be able to change something to help that situation. Dan Reeves has been successful here. It's Gamble on the five. Upended at the 22-yard line by Richard Shelton. This telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League, and it's intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Denver Broncos and the National Football League is prohibited. This game is the property of the Denver Broncos and Kansas City Chiefs, all rights reserved. Take care of our house cleaning business. Chiefs first and 10 from the 22. They've got 11 minutes and 52 seconds to get back into this game, and they trail 27 to 13. The bird for Carlos Carson. They're as picking said, on Tyrone Braxton over there. As we said before, Fred, he's, he's a big play. He's going to go to Carlos Carson. They certainly gave the bird a lot of time to get rid of Mike the ball. Webster doing a perfect job of blocking once again. Of course, he's got help from the offensive guard, but moves his man out of there. Nice pass by the bird. Nice catch by Carlos. Nice shot by the cameraman. 26-yard pickup for Carlos Carson and the Chiefs. A pro bowler in 83 and also 1987. And a very nice young man. Very quiet and nice. This time for the tight end. Good catch. Chris Dressel going high to haul it in. 
Marty Schottenheimer brought the big tight end with him from Cleveland. Of the three tight ends on the Kansas City roster, he's got the best hands, and you saw the soft hands right there. DeBerg put it in there perfectly. There he is right here. Dropping back, he looks off one receiver, goes to a secondary receiver, and there it is, the tight, big tight end. Nice catch, nice grab. They're on the move. He went to Stanford. He was one of John Elway's favorite receivers while playing with Elway as a member of the Stanford Cardinal. From the 29-yard line, first and 10. Here comes Alfonso Carriker, and they try to dump the screen off, and that was a dangerous play. Carriker coming hard from the left side. They tried to drop the screen off to Herman Hurd, and nearly had that ball picked off. Well, something happened, and someone made a mistake because the back got lost inside those linemen. Lyman needs to clear the back so he can catch the ball and make the blocks for him. Here's Carlos Carson. It looks like he was open, and DeBerg didn't didn't see him. Was he right here? See, that's what he mean. What I mean by looking off your secondary receiver, your primary receiver, going to your secondary receiver. Fake to Hurd. Over the middle of the work of the rookie. He's got it. It's a first down inside the 10-yard line. Kip pouring it on the stop. But Naz Worthen, the third-round pick out of NC State. Fred, I keep wondering where Fletcher is. They're supposed to send Fletcher to put pressure on DeBerg. It has not happened all day long. Lyle, it's amazing how high he went up. He is 5'8", 177 pounds. Look at him go up That's with that ball. That's what they ball. call him the popcorn. Wow. He's just popping up there. I'd like to see this guy dance some night, you know that? Runs a 4-6-1-40, one of the quickest men on the club. I do that on my motorcycle. <laughs> First and goal. Chiefs moving from the eight. The Berg's got him moving. Three wide receivers in the game. Some trouble on the exchange. A lot of time. And a completion to Warden inside the five. Simon Fletcher was there to make the hit along with Wyman Henderson, but the Chiefs were lucky there because there was a problem on the exchange again. Well, it was a very nice catch by, by, by Worthen. You know, the thing that's happening here, his receivers are running exact patterns, and that's why DeBerg's being able to complete those, those passes. It's, it's a very complicated situation when you change an offensive situation to run exact patterns and do it the right way so they can complete the ball. That's especially in a new system. Clock is running 8.50. Eight minutes and 50 seconds to play. Second and goal from the four. Third. Michael Brooks Again. on the stop. What a game he's having. The guy with big biceps. <laughs> now, how much of a difference does big biceps make? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> there he is right now. They have high hopes for him, and he's playing. He's having a whale of a game. Well, there was a missed assignment there. Somebody missed an assignment. Clock continues to run. Third and goal from the five. Three receivers in the game. That's the tight end, Jonathan Hayes, in motion. The bird. Ready of time. Carlos Carson, he overthrew him. Check that, he was shooting for Emil Harry. The ball was high, Dennis Smith had him defensively, and Harry claims he was pushed from behind by Dennis Smith. Emil Harry doesn't buy that call one bit. Here's Simon Fletcher. This is the guy that they're counting on to put the pressure on the quarterback all year long. He should run over this back, knock him down, get to DeBerg. That's great Herman. hustle by Fletcher. Very nice hustle. And Herman Hurd did a good job of keeping him out. Certainly did. Do we have a pass interference there? Well, Harry thought he was interfered with. The official said no. Fourth down. And DeBerg, rather than just walking up to the line of scrimmage, says, let's take a minute and talk this over. This play is too important. It could be the smart thing to do. This is a critical situation in the game. Timeout is good. 7.58 to play. We'll be back to Denver. Attention, football widows. If your man enters the Michelob Challenge, he could win up to $50,000. Just imagine how that could change your life. To enter, just look for this Michelob display. Talk to me, CJ. What are you really feeling? 
It's very sweet. This is what sets every Mazda apart. It's called Kansai Engineering. Engineering based on human feelings. Keep an eye on his pulse, please. With it, Mazda can actually learn how to create cars that feel just right. Because to us, feeling right is what driving is really all about. Come feel a Mazda. It just feels right. Introducing McDonald's new country-style McChicken. I grew up on those homegrown ways. A country style, a down-home taste. Where I come from, country style means chicken like this. Juicy all-white breast meat, a crispy country coating, and real country seasoning. I'm not swayed by those big city ways. New country style McChicken. Real country style taste and a brand new way to love it. That's where I come from. New McChicken. The Allstate Anti-Lock Brake Discount is a great opportunity to save money. Provided your car has anti-lock brakes, the anti-lock brake discount, don't pass it up. NBC Sports coverage of the National Football League is brought to you by Mazda Cars and Trucks. Mazda, it just feels right. By Anheuser-Busch, we brew our fine quality beers to be enjoyed responsibly. Remember, know when to say when. And by AT&T, the right choice. Critical play for Kansas City. Fourth and goal from the five. Lyle, who do we look for? I'm looking for Chris Dressel. I think Marty and DeBerg remember the catch he made before. They're going to go to him again. Touchdown. Carson. They need the big play for him. They went to Carlos Carson again. That's a gutsy call. Fourth and five. You know, we think that because Bristol made that tremendous catch before they go there, but you could see that when they need a big play, Carlos is their man, and there he goes. Great catch, great play, great move. He ran by Dennis Smith, and that's unusual. Dennis is a great football player. As, as you are, Fred. In my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Lowry tacked on the extra point. The Chiefs refuse to lay down. They've continued to hang in, and it's still a game with 7.50 to play. Marty's new offense. There is a point at which all things must evolve. For small cars, that point is here. Introducing the Mazda Protégé. A small car that's expansive in room, powerful, and born of Kansai engineering, so the way it feels will change the way you feel about small cars. The new protege from Mazda. It just feels right. High school is just like a memory because... Yeah. So I went, oh, yeah. I went waiting to see Caroline, right? No. She wasn't yeah. there. Every time I went to the prom, the girl was taller than me. I don't want to talk about it. No, I said I'd like to find a dress. So she said, is this for your daughter or for your wife? It's, <laughs> it's for my wife. <laughs> you know why we don't talk about women? You only talk about things you know about. Right? Levi's 100% cotton dockers. If you're not wearing dockers, you're just wearing pants. Dog pile on John! <laughs> yeah! The lights on these cars are running on battery power alone. And in the end, only one, the car with a new die-hard battery, our most powerful ever, is able to start. Great low prices every day, die-hard power. That's your money's worth and a whole lot more. Attention, football widows. If your man enters the Michelob Challenge, he could win up to $50,000. Just imagine how that could change your life. To enter, just look for this Michelob display. Next Sunday, the NFL is on NBC. One of football's great rivalries is renewed when the Los Angeles Raiders battle the Kansas City Chiefs. And it's payback time for Eric Dickerson when he leads the Colts against his former team, the L.A. Rams. Plus regional action. NBC football. It's a whole new ball game. Lyle, another look at this touchdown. Absolutely. I thought that they would throw the ball to the tight end because he made that great catch before, and he's a bigger person. In a situation like this, you want to go to your big tight end. Carlos Carson, a key player, a key receiver, great pattern, touchdown. Also, he nearly injured himself on the attempted spike there following the touchdown reception. Steve DeBerger, the happy man. Needless to say, Steve DeBerger's 
jubilant over that play. Bobby Humphrey crashing his way to the 20, and that is where the Broncos will start first and 10. Take a look at the bird. He's not happy, is he? He's got his team on a roll. It's a great pass, great pattern, great call. He's 20 of 29 for 233 yards, one interception, and the touchdown. You know, I look at him, and I'm glad for him. It's the first time he's been in this situation. No young stud is looking to take his place. It's his job. In San Francisco, he had to train a gentleman by the name of... Joe Montana. In Denver, he trained... John Elway. In Tampa Bay. Testa Birdie. Now he's the man. It's the bird. Elway. And he misread the pattern. Jackson just broke in, and Elway threw the ball to the outside. And, and the he pressure was there. He felt, he felt the pressure, Fred, and that's why he, uh, he released the ball as quickly as he did. Chris Martin's the man. Here we go. Chris Martin breaks through on the inside. John felt that pressure, released the ball before he should have. John doesn't seem to be having a day that uh, he's very happy with. Again, he's not, not a happy camper, Fred. Well, again, it's the Chiefs. They told us that they were going to try and stunt and confuse that way so he couldn't read the defense when he stepped up to the line of scrimmage. And obviously successful at it right now. 7.40 to play in the ball game. As time has a man in the first down. Clarence K, the big tight end with the reception. Okay, Minnesota over Houston, 31 to seven. Philadelphia on top of Seattle, 24 to seven. Check the Jets. The Jets. The Jets on top of New England. England. 24, 21. The Raiders, 28, 14 over San Diego. Cleveland, 44, zip over Pittsburgh, and Miami, 17, 13 over Buffalo. Gift of Bobby Humphrey took a lick. Delayed draw, Fred. They didn't fool anybody. Kansas City was right there to make the stop. Clock continues to run. 6.40 to play in the game. And it's Denver leading Kansas City 27 to 20. Let's look at 54 and white. Walker Lee Ashley putting a lick on Bobby Humphrey. This is a tremendous hit. That's the perfect way to hit people. Right in the numbers. Pow! Walker Lee Ashley, he wanted a chance to play. He waited a long time in Minnesota. He said, forget about it. Stud Stedwell's never going to retire. I'm going to get out here and play with somebody who will give me a chance. Scott's been there 42 years. <laughs> lot of time. lot of time. Clarence Perry turns it upfield. Albert Lewis then did a good job of knocking him down, but not before the big tight end of the Broncos picked up first down yardage. John always looks like he's smiling, Fred. <laughs> or grimacing. You know, John has so much time to throw the ball. Look at this right here. Now, Kansas City's got to be blitzing somebody. They've got to change up a little bit to put pressure on Elway. If he's got all that time back there, this is what's going to happen. And Kansas City's going to be in trouble. But what's interesting here is that Elway is not able to go to those wide receivers because of the secondary. So he's going to Clarence K. more in this game than he normally And that would. happened a quarter and a half ago. He's intimidated by Kansas City's secondary. Sammy Winder. That was the forgotten play. <laughs> Dive him up the middle. <laughs> well, there we go. 5.06 to play. You see the clock running. And Denver clinging to a seven-point lead. The Chiefs turned the ball over two times in the first half and also turned it over here in the second half. Eliminate the turnovers, and they lead in this game. Their principle of running the football and throwing the football always has an opportunity to come back and score big points. They, he did it in Monty Schottenheimer, and he's doing it here. Play action. Across the field to Clarence K. One of the reasons they don't go to Clarence K much is because he's a better blocker than he is a pass receiver. Well, one of John's strengths is being capable of throwing across the field. That's a very difficult pattern to defend against and to read. And obviously, Clarence was open there and dropped the ball. 
you've got to be capable and you have to understand your concentration has to be there to make those catches you those plays are big plays you have to make the catch Denver has converted 50% of the time on third down situations four wide receivers in the game for the Broncos Here they come. L.A. avoids the rush. And throws it away. I thought he was nearly in the grass back there. He got hit twice and was able to escape. You know, that's why John is considered one of the best quarterbacks in football. His athletic ability. He's able to maneuver in situations that are very tight and tough. Look at this situation. Here. Someone's got him by his legs too. already. Someone hits him on top, and he still gets out of it. That's tremendous balance, tremendous athletic ability. And there he's firing the ball at about 400 miles an hour. And it's easy to knock down a guy when he's rushing Derek Thomas and you grab him by the face mask and throw him down. Step on him. <laughs> That's about get what happened. Get the job done. That's why he didn't get in. <laughs> Horan, one of the best in the business at the coffin corner. Oh, look at that punt. Beautiful kick. Beautiful. They mark it at the nine-yard line. All right, a reminder, folks, next Saturday, NBC Sports keeps pace with baseball's pennant chasers on the Major League Baseball Game of the Week. Most of the viewers around the country will see the surprising Chicago Cubs try and stay atop the NL East as they battle the Pirates. Others will see the powerhouse Oakland A's taking on the Boston Red Sox at Fable Fenway Park with the Green Monster. It starts with Major League Baseball, an inside look right here on NBC Sports next Saturday. Fred, you ever played baseball? Yes, I did. Yeah? Junior high school, grade school, semi-pro? Little League. <laughs> 4 15 to play. The bird trying to get the Chiefs back into the end zone and tie the game. Starting from his 10. He's got a man in a first down. It's Emil Harry. His routes are the most precise on the ball club. Marty Scheinheimer has a reputation of making sure his offensive system is very precise. When your receivers run precise patterns, it's easy for the quarterback to pick out his receiver, secondary, for his primary receiver or his secondary receiver, and make the completion. And this is what Kansas City's receivers are doing, doing and running exact patterns. Man waiting in the wing. Ron Jaworski played against him many times, could never catch him. <laughs> well, what, a, what a rifle arm he's got. Certainly has. The bird. There's a flag on the interior line. There's a marker on the play. The pass was complete. But when you throw that flag right to the interior line, more often than not, it's holding. Bailed bad penalty in a tight situation. You can't make those kind of mistakes. On the offense. First down. Mike Webster. That's a surprise. I've never seen Mike hold anybody. And if you ask him, he'd tell you he never held it. And I believe him. I wasn't going to question that. <laughs> yes, sir, Mike. Well, here we go. Well, the reason he got called here is because his arm is across Cregan's throat. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> if he would have had his hands underneath the shoulder pad, then they don't call that. But with his forearm around Cregan's neck, holding. Thank you. And attempted manslaughter. Thank you. <laughs> and then he tried to rip his lips off. First and 20. He's got time. He's got a man open. Oh! Boy, if he had seen that ball ricochet, he was gone. Kip Corrington was back there playing pinball with the ball. You know, they used to say if you throw the ball and, you, and any part of your body touches the ball, you got to catch it. You got to catch it. And here, the ball's thrown right at him. And as you see, Great defense. That ball bounced off Braxton, and it would have been a situation where if Harry had turned just a half second sooner, if, if he was a gymnast, he probably could have caught that. But as they say, <laughs> if ifs and buts were bare nuts, we'd have a heck of a party, too. <laughs> Here we go. Second and 20. The pass is intercepted. Oh, big play.
Marty looks very upset there. That was... Uh, should have looked off his receiver and gone somewhere else. Randy Robbins. Big play. Big play, Fred. Here it is. The bird drops back. He doesn't... See, he did it again. He did not look off his primary receiver. He needs to do that. Because then the defensive back... Randy Robbins... Good read. Didn't look off his receiver. Veteran and out of Arizona. The interception. Yep, the veteran out of Arizona carries it 20 yards back for the score. Fredwell. Well, the dance is, is continuing. It's continuing. It's not over, but the Chiefs certainly have their work cut out for them now. Three minutes left. It's a long climb, 34-20. And what is so disheartening for the Kansas City Chiefs is, again, without those turnovers, it's a different ball game. On the verge of taking control of the game, a mistake pushes him right back. And you point out over and over the Bird's inability, at least in key situations today, to look off the defensive back rather than focusing right on the man he's going to throw the ball to. Well said, Fred. Here it is. The Bird looking, looking directly at his receiver. His primary receiver does not look him off. The interception, the touchdown, they're behind 34 20. Here's the Bird. I hope he doesn't make the tackle here. <laughs> Uh, the quarterback's getting hurt. I'll tell you one thing. He's hurting emotionally right now. Oh, well, I'm, I'm sure he is. You know, DeBerg's a fine quarterback, but, you know, once again, you got to remember Denver's defense is also a very complicated one. I mean, he can, he can be confused by certain things. And obviously, he confused DeBerg there. But he should have looked off that primary receiver. Well, given the situation now, Lyle, and what Marty Schottenheimer has seen today, what does he do next week? Well, obviously, his ground game seems to have been working a little bit. Now, his passing games is very in in inconsistent. DeBerg has to understand the principle behind Marty's offensive philosophy, to look off his primary receivers, to check other situations, and to go the safest place possible. Unless it's a critical situation, then you go even safer. Copeland and Gamble deep. Gamble is driven seven yards deep in the end zone. I think the problem with David Treadwell during the preseason, he was saving his leg for the regular season. Well, like I said, he should start back in the end zone. <laughs> there you go. Minnesota 31-7 over Houston. Again, the Jets still holding on to their lead. And Philadelphia all over Seattle 24-7. Well, the Raiders have extended their lead over San Diego. Cleveland 51 to nothing. Miami. This is the shock of the day, leading Buffalo 17-13. You know, Buffalo seemed to stop playing last year after they realized they won the division. After that, they've been very inconsistent. They haven't won the division this year. They better start playing. That's right. Three minutes and five seconds to play. Pass is tipped at the line, and Carlos Carson is not going to come up with it. Steve Atwater tipped the ball, and Carson trapped it. Once again, in a critical situation, critical part of the game, they go to the guy they believe in. As we asked him and had dinner with him the other night, we asked him, will they go to you if the situation is critical? And they are, and they will. The bird trying to get something going. 35 years young. Five years younger than you are. Yes, but I'm built better. That's a matter of opinion. <laughs> what time he's got. Todd is hitting to drop the ball. Now, that could be a direct result of earlier when he caught it and had Dennis Smith strip it away. I think he heard footsteps there. Could have been. Sometimes you get hit like that. And Dennis Smith is around. You lose your concentration. But in a situation like, th like this, it's important to keep your concentration. To hold on to the ball, to make those yardage. They're in a bad spot right now, Kansas City. And that should ball, that ball should have been caught. We understand there's about 10 minutes to play in the Miami Buffalo game with the Dolphins leading the Bills. We'll keep you posted on the score there. Here at mile high, 255 to play. A lot of time, and now it goes down. He just didn't get rid of the ball. It seemed like a lot of time. Obviously, the Denver defensive backs had great coverage, and DeBerg couldn't find a, find a place to dump the ball. Simon Fletcher. 
guy that they're counting on to put a great deal of pressure on Berg. And there he is right there. Nice spin move. That's a great technique. It's called the outside spin. Very nice. Takes a long time for defensive linemen to learn that. Good burn to Ken Bell. Under 33. Nice return by Bell. Close to midfield before he's dropped by Rob McGovern. Kenny Bell, a man who made the club with his special teams play, has also learned many positions and also fills in as a receiver now. A 50-yard punt and a 15-yard return. That's the story, 34 to 20. The Broncos leading the Chiefs, and we have two minutes and 29 seconds to play in the game. Here's Marty Schottenheimer. I wonder if he's thinking right now, what do I do now? I've got two minutes and 29 seconds left. My quarterback's not throwing the ball real well right now. You can't keep it on the ground. Too much time will be used up. Alexander breaks the tackle. Still at his feet. Looks like he's got a first down. Kevin Ross and Deron Cherry finally dropped him. Kansas City's defense has to come up with a play to strip the ball loose to get the ball back. There's still time enough to score for Kansas City. They've got to get the ball back, though. Someone's got to come up with a big play. They've got to get the ball, score, onside kick, get it again, and score. It's possible. It's not impossible, but it is improbable. They're going to bring the chain into Ma to measure Alexander's effort. Meantime, John Elway, for the first time today, has a smile on his face on the sideline. Well, it looks like he's going to get away with a win here, but uh, he didn't have a real positive day. One thing about the fans here in Denver, they love the Broncos. They've sold out 140 out of the last 142 games, 76,000 You know, strong. the Bronco fans are probably some of the best fans in all of the country. You know, when the team wins, they <laughs> they paint themselves orange. They, they, they paint their cars orange. They paint their kids orange. They shave their head. It's pretty unusual here in Denver, the orange city. There's a guy that's in shape, number 75. <laughs> Okay, guy, start jogging tomorrow. We have reached the two-minute warning with the Broncos leading the Chiefs 34 to 20. AT&T, the right choice. Eric Dickerson's 12 100-yard rushing games in 1984 is a single-season record. But who holds the record for consecutive 100-yard games? O.J. Simpson of the Bills, Marcus Allen of the Raiders, or Walter Payton of the Bears? Which would you choose? We recognize how important every 800 caller is to your business. We recognize that. And if for some reason there's a disruption in that service, we know you can't afford to be out of business. We have a new AT&T 800 assurance policy. If you're not getting 800 calls for any reason, if it's an equipment failure, if it's a problem with the network, it doesn't matter to us. What matters to us is getting your calls to you. We guarantee we'll put you back in service to a working telephone line within an hour. That's what the assurance policy does for you. Marcus Allen rushed for over 100 yards in 11 consecutive games. If you said Marcus Allen, you made the right choice. All right, we can see clearly now the rain is gone in Denver. The showers have gone and the sun is out and Bronco fans are happy. As for the Chiefs, time to regroup and reconsider. Well, I think that Marty Schottenheimer's principle and new philosophy of offense and defense works. You, you can't make mistakes and expect to be the team that well-disciplined and well-coached like the Denver Broncos. It's important for Marty Schottenheimer to go home from this game, show his team the films, and get rid of it and go on to the next week. Well, he is not one to dwell on the negatives. No, he's not. And he is a fine coach, one of the brightest coaches in football. Given his choice, he probably would not have wanted to open against Dan Reeves and the Denver Broncos because the two times they were in the AFC Championship game, it was Reeves and the Broncos that defeated him. That's right, but remember, this is only one game, the beginning of the season. they got 15 games left. Marty Schottenheimer is smart enough to have his team better prepared, better able to, to do the things that he asked them to do. And next week, you'll have a chance to see what they can do against the L.A. Raiders. Ooh. Winder, first down. Kevin Ross on the stop of the Kansas City Chiefs. Chiefs are going to take a timeout 
And as Billy Cower do everything they can now. He's a good linebacker in his day. As the Chiefs take a timeout, we'll do the same and return to Denver after this break. There is a point at which all things must evolve. For small cars, that point is here. Introducing the Mazda Protégé, a small car that's expansive in room, powerful, and born of Kansai engineering, so the way it feels will change the way you feel about small cars. The new Protégé from Mazda. It just feels right. One minute and 48 seconds to play here in Denver. We talked about the Chiefs taking on the Raiders next week. Well, everybody believes that the Raiders are in a massive confusion. Changing of head coaches, different philosophies, different principles, players and coaches not getting along. The key there is they seem to be okay, at least today. <laughs> Winder. Frederick, who do you think's the MVP here? Who do I think is the MVP? I think there are a lot of players that have played pretty well today. Well, it is time now for us to talk about the Most Valuable Player Award sponsored by Budweiser. And today's MVP is none other than Tyrone Braxton of the Denver Broncos. Budweiser will day. make a contribution to the United Way on behalf of all of the MVP selected in today's game. I okay. thought you and I should get the award. We'll get it next week. Next week. And we'll week. come back after these words. <laughs> service to 13 wonderful cities. And those words were indeed brief. <laughs> yes, they were. <laughs> All right, the Broncos are now facing a second and seven from the 37-yard line. A minute 36 to play in the game. Just playing out the string. Elway down to one knee. Chiefs have one timeout remaining. You know, I would think that Marty would feel pretty good about his Kansas City Chiefs. They're in a game against a team that has been in the playoffs for a number of years, a sound team, a well-coached team. And, you know, Kansas City normally in other situations could have been blown out of this thing. Because they were behind 17-3 to and hung in there, played good football, made some mistakes, and the mistakes are the reason why they got beat. Our thanks this afternoon to Statman Ray Friedman and spotters Merrick Cohn and Mark Friedman. Nice job, guys. We appreciate it. Great camera work, too. Nice shots of you, Fred. You're so cute. Please, Lyle. Save that for later. Okay. 50 seconds left. As for the Broncos, next week they have the Buffalo Bills on Monday night. It should be a very interesting game, especially if Buffalo loses to Miami today. And they are behind the Miami Dolphins. Has Don Schuler recreated the great Miami teams of the 70s into the late 80s? Has he changed over enough to create a winning situation to Miami finally? Probably not. I mean, that might be a little severe. They might beat Buffalo today. But to say that they're going to be one of the great teams of the season. People have picked Buffalo to win the world championship. True. And you see the clock counting it down. News at 10. 